Hey everybody, so this is my second unboxing for the day. Um, I don't actually know which one I'm going to post first, but I'll get straight into it. So, I've got another package, quite a big package, from uh, Monkey Finger Design. It was Monkey Finger Yo, I can't remember the exact name. Um, yet another company from Canada. I'm really impressed with some of the stuff coming out of Canada. In terms of, you know, EDC, fidget, skilled toy kind of area. Um, it's been some really nice stuff that I've had. Um, oh, this package is filthy. Um, okay, let's see. being mindful of any invoices that might be in there. Okay. So, um, oh wow, uh, he's chucked in some extra things. Um, there was a reason for that. Stickers. There we go. <laughs> Patch. some cards wow um i've never bought from um this company before but the guy seemed uh, really nice um basically a, there was an issue i think there was a glitch on the website because i ordered um two tiki rollers and uh he, he messaged me and said uh, i'm really sorry there was a glitch on the website um one of the ones i ordered wasn't actually available um, so I think he went through all his inventory and, um, you know, we were talking back and forth about which one I wanted instead. Um, so I picked another one that I actually preferred <laughs> in the end. Um, you know, I thought it wasn't available. So, uh, I think it was just a glitch on the website. So, okay. There's like some, oh, this is cool. There's some cards. I'm guessing these are people who play. Yo-yos again, it's another like yo-yo and um, burglary maker in Canada. So I've got some burglary uh, strings and so he's chucked these in. These are, I think for the burglary, they're like bumper rings or something, I can't remember what they're called. So I've got two different ones. So this is going to be the more interesting one. I'll leave that to the last. Now these are really nice boxes. Now to have branded boxes, um, you know, that, that's pretty, pretty nice. Um, when I make my ocarinas, I can't afford to get branded boxes. So it would cost me too much. So, and I would then have to charge my customers too much. So. It's nice to see other people can do it. So there's a lot of stickers. Lots and lots of stickers. Wow, get a lot of stuff in here. Whoa, okay. A drawstring pouch that has been sewn down the middle so you've got different compartments. That's a very neat idea. So you've got two different compartments there. Tools. So that's because this is a tiki roller with the Bagleri and these are acrylic. And originally I wasn't interested in the acrylic in all honesty because um, I just thought oh, it's going to be too light. No, I like heavier stuff now and I've already got around square acrylics. But you get these weighted ends. So I actually thought, oh, I like weighted ends. Um, again, have to mention the zero gravity return tops, um, espresso and ristretto tamper rollers, and the um, knuckle yo that I just unboxed. Having weightier ends compared to the grip is really something I quite like. So let's see. I have no idea how to put these together. 
So there's two different lengths there, does it really matter? It's hard to see how deep the threads go and also you've got to be really careful with acrylic because these are only going to be, you know, it's only it's metal going into acrylic so it's not going to be fantastic. I've got to be careful not to over tighten. So how do these stay in? <laughs> I can see them just falling out, uh, which they just did. All oh, right, so these are the bumpers. So he, he's very kindly given me some other bumpers. So I actually think that's quite a cool idea. And it adds another sort of layer of interest there. So it's nice he's given me some other colours. I like that. And some nice colour matching uh, paracord if I want to have these as uh, Big Larry which again probably won't um, I like Big Larry but I don't particularly want to use acrylic ones again weight is an issue yeah how are these how are these supposed to stay in hmm I may have to work that out another time. I mean, do they go in permanently? Hmm. Very strange. There might be something on the site that I've missed. I'm going to be really careful with these. There we go. So this is one of the colours that was still available that I liked. I love green, so um, there were quite a lot of other funky um, colours, but I like the grip and the ends to be matching, so um, that's what I went for. It's quite big. And yeah, I don't know how... I'm supposed to get those in permanently because they don't look threaded. No, so it's not like that's long enough to keep them in. I don't think it's long enough anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to keep that in. I may have to do some research on the website. That's cool. Very lightweight. I'll weigh it in a minute when I um, unbox the other one. But this was just like a little addition. I think it was 20 something pounds. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'll get it. Why not? So that's that one. Got things all over the place. So the next one. Let's get these pieces out of the way. So yeah, excuse me if I'm missing something really obvious with these um, these weights. I've had a long day. Okay, so this one should be interesting. It's a nice little note. There we go. More stickers. More tools. Running out of space here. More tools and parts. Ah, oh, different colour. There we go. These are nicely made. Again, separated compartments, which is a really cool idea, actually. I've never seen that before in a little drawstring bag. So. This is interesting. So this is the Coconuts Tiki RGB. So, um, yeah, this is actually nicer than <laughs> than the one um, I initially wanted. 
in my personal opinion. So I love the colours. And then there's holes in the end, so I wonder I can potentially put them in there as well. Hmm. I've really got to try and work out what on earth I'm supposed to do. So these came with little yellow bumpers. So these basically are the cocoa, I think the coconuts, uh, Big Larry. Um, I may get some separate Big Larry at some point from uh, Monkey Finger Design, but at the moment I just wanted the knuckle rollers. Um, I need to get better at uh, Big Larry, so I'm sort of chopping and changing between the two. Really enjoying both, I have to say, like, I really love them. Um, yeah, there we go, look at that, and that's pretty. So... Again, I'm not sure what it's made of because it didn't actually say on the site. But to me, I'm guessing aluminium. It's quite light. It kind of looks like it, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to use the short ones again because I'm not quite sure actually which ones to use. I'm not going to over tighten them, there's no need. There we go, and that's that one. So they're both the same size. Let's have a weigh. So the acrylic, about 15, 16 grams. And then whatever this is made out of, it's about 31. Hmm. I really don't know what it's made out of. I swear I looked at the site again the other day and I couldn't work it out. It is big. Like, it's quite long. It's kind of, like, larger than I thought it would be. So actually I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to manipulate. But that could also just be my skill level. Uh, so... Get back in my alpaca hub pouch with my skill toys. So, wow, what a difference. There we go. So, that is the around square regular size. That's the mini. I will be doing a video because this is a new acquisition of mine. Um. And we got the unquiet hands. Wow, this is um yeah, it's quite a lot longer. It's quite a big difference. Zero gravity return tops ristretto. Let's try the knuckle yo. There we go. Um, TIB Studio. Yeah, that's quite significantly bigger. Not a bad thing. I'm just finding it more difficult to, I think, to actually move between my fingers. And that might actually answer my question about whether I get an around square large size Delrin. Because <laughs> I've been on and ahhing over that. It's nice though. It feels really nice. I love the finish. Stunning. I really love the colours. I don't particularly like the earrings on there. Let's see what colour. Usually I just love green so much, but 
shall we try red? So it was very nice. He put extra stuff in there for me because I, you know, I, I picked something else from what I originally wanted. There we go. Red's better. Much better. Yeah, that's... This is nice. As I said, I don't think I want to use the ends as a Big Larry because this is all matching. I don't want marks really on the knuckle roller. So I might keep this as a knuckle roller and in, in time I think I'll possibly order a different design of uh, their Big Larry when I'm better at it. So yes. Strange though. Even though I think this weighs just a couple of grams more from what I can remember. In fact, let's be accurate, shall we? Um, so what was this again? About 31, 35, 36. Um, even though there's only a couple of grams difference, normally I wouldn't really notice that, but because these have weighted ends, it actually feels heavier because of yeah, I don't know, the grip is so light but the ends are heavy, whereas this, obviously, it's it's kind of even all round. So this feels a lot lighter, like more than a couple of grams lighter. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get to grips with these. This is quite different. And actually, let's weigh them with these weights. I really don't know how I'm supposed to get these to stay in. Because, yeah, they're not threaded. Or am I being an idiot and do I actually thread them through? Hmm. I may be being an idiot. But I don't want to ruin them, so I am going to look that up. Because as I am an idiot, I may end up ruining them. And they're too lovely for that. So that adds that adds quite a lot. That's quite cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, I like these weights. They're going to add a lot. I'm actually wondering whether that's what the short and the longer parts are for. It just seems strange because these aren't threaded. The weights. Shame I didn't have weights in both of them to be honest. I really don't know. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I need to do some more research, I think, on these. Very nice. Um, quite a lot longer, so that's um, that's something new for me. I reckon, um, as a Big Larry, uh, these will be really cool. I mean, they are such funky designs. He does a lot of different shapes. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get some at some point, I think. But yeah, I'm going to keep these as a knuckle roller. But yeah, um, it's been very generous. Added a lot of things in the package for me, um, which he didn't really have to do. Um, seems like a really nice, genuine guy. So um, I appreciate that. And pretty far shipping as well, both of these. Um, so from Zero Gravity Return Tops and Monkey Finger Yo Yo or Monkey Finger Design. Um, both arrived by Canada Post and they've been pretty quick. Um, Around Square have been really, really quick, like four days. It's been crazy, but um, I've got stuff that's on the way from Lathed, lathed Back Design. And 
I don't know how long it's going to take because it's coming via chit chats and I've already realised now that chit chats isn't great so I have no idea when they're going to arrive if they're going to arrive because my current shipment is bouncing around in Canada at the moment for the last 10 days so that's great anyway um thanks for watching have yourselves a lovely day hey guys so just back a second um basically i looked this up because uh, obviously i don't want to ruin them like i said um the weights are actually designed for the big Le uh big larry side of things so they're not actually designed really for use as a knuckle roller um Basically, these are called monkey bars. So it's actually a very clever idea. Um, it's just that I think you can buy these as a pack. You can basically change the weight of your Bigleri because they're all made of different uh, materials. So stainless steel, um, brass, copper, whatever. Um, so that that's what they are. Um, just a shame that they can't be, um, I guess, utilised in the knuckle roller side of things as well. I mean, maybe I could use some something to get them in, but then I've only got one set, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, didn't really notice that when I ordered. It's not the end of the world because I'll probably make another order with them for some big, uh, big Larry, so I can always order some more. Maybe I can think of a non-permanent way to stick them in into the knuckle rollers because that would actually be a really cool idea um, for weighted ends on the knuckle rollers. Um, I don't know if they were threaded or something and then they could just screw on. You know, by using the longer rods or something. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. It would be a nice opportunity. I think that would add quite a lot. And it looks really cool as well, actually. The brass or bronze or whatever it is in there. Um, but yeah, so the whole idea is that obviously they just sit in there. And obviously the cord will if I can get that through. Okay. The cord will hold it in place where you tie it at the bottom. So um Crikey. That doesn't want to go through. Oh, it's gonna take a while. I mean, I think that's a really neat idea for the Big Larry side of things. I think it could be adapted quite nicely for the knuckle roller side of things, but I know uh, the maker is just really about knuckle, uh, not knuckle rollers, um, yo-yo and Big Larry really, so I don't, I don't really expect that. But I might, might use some way to sort of stick those in temporarily. Never permanent because I don't think... Okay, so this is just an idea. So I guess it would look like that. So, yeah. It does actually weigh quite, quite substantial. Um, yeah, so that's, that answers that question. So again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.